I'm Elizabeth Coffin, and I am a college professor at UTA, teach in Arlington, work in, I work in Arlington, and live in Coppell. Well, I decided to do that, as I've said before, as kind of a birthday present to myself when I turned 50, and that was a year and a half ago. I've enjoyed it so much that I've kept coming back three times a week for, uh, you know, a, a year and a half. And uh, the boot camp to me has been a great maintenance program. I didn't feel like I had a whole lot to do in terms of my fitness level because I have been uh, involved in cardio for many, many years. I've been a runner uh, and been very good about walking and sort of keeping up with my um, fitness. But uh, I, I needed to tune up my fitness program. I kept hearing that uh, people of my age needed to change what they did. They needed to slack off a little bit on the cardio because that high intensity cardio will wear your body down after a while. And, uh, and you, you need to pick up, I had heard, especially women need to pick up some uh, weight training and some resistance exercises and uh, improve their flexibility. And I needed to work a little bit on nutrition as well if I was going to retool my exercise program. I needed to change a little bit how I was going to eat. So um, at one point, um, at several months after I had started boot camp, I did the 40-day challenge. And that was really helpful to me. And it did kind of reset my body a little bit and trained me a little bit in some nutrition habits I think that were good, particularly cutting down on some carbs, getting a little bit more protein. Um, so that was one very specific thing that I learned um, from the 40-day challenge. I thought that was very, very useful. Well, I know a lot of people want to do this uh, to get in shape, and I think it's a great way to do that. I've seen a lot of folks um, actually get in shape through the program. But I also wanted to say that if there are small changes that people want to make, if there are little adjustments that they feel, um, this is a great program because there's some subtle things that you can do um, to um, retrain your exercise habits. And, uh, and that was, I think, the best function of it for me. And I've told many people that I'm in the best shape of my life, including when I was a marathon. Um, this is, this is uh, I, I can touch my toes. I have bicep muscles and tricep muscles, which I never used to have before. I never used to be flexible. Um, so I think uh, for someone who feels that he or she is, is in pretty good shape, there are always little things that you can do that will be helpful. And so I would encourage people not only that feel that they're you know, way out of shape, but people that, that think that they have little things um, that they could tweak. Uh, this is a really good program for them. The other thing I, I think I'd say about the program is that having been involved in it for this long, uh, there are uh, never days when I'm bored. We always do different things and we change up the exercise routine. It's something that our uh, exercise leaders, Brad and David and Julie, uh, particularly tell us involves muscle confusion. So we want our muscles to not be used to what we're doing and that that aids the growth of um, our bodies. Uh, so uh, that's worked really well for me. and It also just keeps us from being bored. So I've enjoyed that aspect a lot and I've never felt as though it was too easy I've never felt as though I was bored, and every so often we do a totally new exercise that I've never uh, seen or heard of before, so that's, it's a lot of fun as well.